Greetings, and thanks for tuning in today. We are going to talk about why your head feels heavy and why that might be causing a trigger for a headache or a migraine. My name is Dr. Jeanette DeWitt. I am a doctor of physical therapy, a certified athletic trainer, a certified personal trainer, and a fitness nutrition specialist. One of the questions I often get from clients when I'm working with them to decrease their headaches and their migraines is their complaint of their head feeling heavy. Why would their head feel heavy? Well, let's look at posture. And I know a lot of clinicians look at posture, but it is super important. And a lot of clinicians actually overlook posture and its influences, and we can't do that. Posture plays a role in so many different aspects of our muscular skeletal system, and it definitely is an influencer on headaches and migraines. Let's take a look at what normal position is. This is where the whole of your ear is lined up with your shoulder. So your shoulders are back, your chin is slightly tucked, and you are upright. That is upright posture. Now, when the chin is one to two inches forward beyond what it should be. And, and normal is one to two inches forward of your sternum. So if it's one to two inches more forward, meaning four inches in front of your sternum, that is going to put 20 pounds of extra force on your neck. I'm gonna say that again. Normal is to have your chin one to two inches in front of your sternum. For every inch forward, it's 10 extra pounds of force on your neck. Therefore, if you are two inches forward from normal or a total of four inches forward from your sternum, you are putting 20 pounds of force extra on your neck. I have seen clients with as many as five and a half inches forward. If normal is two, that's three and a half inches more. And that is going to be 35 pounds of extra force on their neck. That is why their head feels so heavy. And it's a simple thing caused by poor posture. So let's take a look at a visual. There's me, and then there's the forward head. Now how do we get forward head? It's looking down at our smartphone. It's having our workspace in the wrong position and our monitor from our laptop or our computer too far forward, or it's just poor habits as well. But if you look and you have a head, and this is normal, and you bring that forward, let me draw that a little bit darker. If you draw that and you bring it forward, you can see how this would put extra force right on the spine. Now, I'm not an artist, I don't claim to be an artist, but that is really forward. Look at an aging person or a senior, somebody who's a little bit seasoned in life, and what do you often see? You see this position. They have a lot of spine issues, and a lot of it can be from poor posture. What we're talking about is when we put that amount of load on our neck, our brain is going to say, whoa, I've got to check rein that, my head's falling off my body, so the neck muscles pull on the head to get it so it's straight or line of sight and your eyes are level with the ground. Your eyes don't want to be looking down, so they have to tilt and bring your head like that because you need to see where you're going. What happens though is over time you see this gradual position of falling forward and that puts a lot of pressure on the neck and the spine. Those muscles have to work harder, they start to pull 
on the head and on the base of the head. They start to pull on the neck. They make the shoulders kind of come up. That creates a lot of tension. And that alone can start to trigger a headache or a migraine. A migraine. I hope this makes sense because what we can do is we can check that posture and fix the posture so that stops being a trigger for headaches and migraines. If you are interested in learning more about how to reduce headaches and migraines by correcting your posture, just go ahead and comment me in the feed below. I am happy to help out and reach out to you one-on-one. -on -one. Thank you very much and have a great day.